Now, sometimes what you'll come up against is things like this. We've got x plus 1 all squared plus 3x plus 1. And that is an x plus 1. I'll just draw that better. There we go. Um, and then minus 4. So what we've got here is x plus 1 squared plus 3x plus 1 minus 4. Now, this looks a little bit complicated, but really it's exactly the same as what we've been doing. What you've got to realise is because this thing is the same, we can let it equal something else. And what we do is we say we let x plus 1 equal a. Let it equal whatever you want. But in this case, we're going to let it equal a, so we've got a squared plus 3a minus 4. Now that, we can factorise just like anything else. So well, let's look for factors of negative 4. So factors of negative 4 that add up to 3. Now, because I've done a lot of these, I've had good practice, I know that it's a uh, plus 4, a minus 1. Now it's really important you don't start putting in x's here. So now that I've got that, now I'll resubstitute x plus 1 into a. So I've got x plus 1 plus 4, x plus 1 minus 4. And then it'll simplify. So x plus 5 times by x uh, minus 3. <clears throat> so that's how we'd go about factorising uh, one of those. I didn't think it looked right. I've made a mistake. Now, normally I'll say someone should tell me a mistake, but um, in this case it's going to be a little bit hard. This line, I've made a mistake here. X, this should be x plus 1. This is x plus 1. Is that plus 4? Because that's what we've got there. This here should be a minus 1. So, once again, go across this out. Change the pen size. And now that changes uh, this here as well. So, if that is uh, x, hang on, sorry, x plus 1, and we're going to have minus 1. Now, these two will cancel each other out. So we're left with x. So that's what it is as being factorised.